Welcome to another Century 21 affiliated market update. I'm Dan Cruz, President and CEO. Uh, it's August already, I can't believe it. The market is flying by, the summer's flying by, uh, but all in a good way. Things seem to uh, continue to progress. Buyer activity is strong right now, and I know all of you guys are out there and busy. Uh, just reading through some of the market st statistics that we see on a statewide level for all the regions that we're in. Uh, the state numbers are pretty consistent with what we're seeing on our local levels. Uh, unit sales continue to be up consistently 4 to 5 percent. Median sales prices continue to be up 6 or 7 percent across the affiliated network. So uh, market conditions are great. We've been talking about that pretty consistently over the last four or five months. Uh, I will say I just read the NAR statistics for uh, median sales price and last month we were at $147,000 of median sales price across the United States, which crazy enough actually is the high water mark for uh, median sales price since they started recording it in 1968. So if you think about that, uh, go back about 10 year pre-recession, uh, market was high, then all of a sudden we hit the recession, uh, median sales price dipped a ton throughout the United States, and now 2016 we're actually surpassed what we saw back in 2010, 2011, 2012 before the, uh, the market crash took place. I think that's a good sign for where we're at across uh, the United States. I think it's a great sign for what's happening uh, in the affiliated network right now. Uh, one question I do get all the time is, great, median sales price is rising, unit sales are going up, uh, what about affordability? And clearly one of the reasons that the median sales price continues to rise uh, is there still is a strong buyer demand out there uh, and inventory is tight. We've talked about this all summer. Uh, inventory being tight has, has had those uh, median sales price numbers continue to rise, certainly in our marketplaces and across the United States. I think with um, interest rates continuing to be low uh, and those that have actually purchased homes over the last five years, having some equity in those home purchases when they go to sell them has helped with down payment. So uh, overall I think affordability is still okay, uh, but we do got to keep our eye on it if that median sales price continues to rise across the, the United States, certainly across the footprint that we're in. Uh, I think that leads to two coaching areas we've talked about all summer uh, throughout the busy time in the marketplace. Uh, one right now is expectations. We got to make sure we're dealing with our buyers and sellers and setting the right expectations uh, because inventory is tight. When they go out and start writing uh, um, offers out there on properties, things are moving quickly. So we got to set those expectations properly with our clients and customers. And the second one, which is no surprise, we probably talk about it every month on our market update, listings are king. So please make sure you're going out there building that listing inventory. Good listing inventory means good buyer activity. Uh, I always like giving some market statistics of what's going on throughout the affiliated network. You guys uh, continue to kick butt. You're, you're outperforming the market in every single state that we're in. Uh, just to give you a quick update, we're actually up almost 10% in our listing inventory this year versus last year. Uh, we're up 29.5% in accepted offers this year versus last year. And we're up 29.9% uh, in closings this year versus last year. So congratulations guys, we couldn't do it without all the hard work you guys put in on a regular basis. Uh, also just some really neat things going on, right now we just surpassed 10,000 closed transactions this year uh, through the end of July. Uh, we're on track to close about 16,000 transactions and beat what we did last year. Uh, right now we're also number one in the world uh, out of the Century 21 family for number one in closed sales units and number one in closed AGC. First time ever in the history of our company. So thank you guys for everything you do to make this company such uh, a great organization and where we're at in the market numbers. Uh, we've also been busy this year. Uh, a lot of you guys see the regular updates we put out with new offices, new momentum we have in new marketplaces. Uh, I'm really proud to say, I just looked at this this morning, we actually have 19 new offices we brought into the affiliated family in 2016 alone. Uh, a couple of those, just to make note, uh, Portage, Michigan was one of the new offices, Novi, Michigan, uh, Palatine, Illinois, and we just onboarded a new office two days ago in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So uh, we're really excited, happy to have all of you part of the affiliated family uh, and excited to move into new market territories that are out there. Uh, last little thing I want to put out there for all of you, if you got a pen and a paper, mark it down. If you got your digital cam uh, calendars out, put it in your calendars. October 20th, 
That is our agent rally. That is the once a year event. We get everybody together in one room. Uh, we got a great keynote speaker coming in. We're gonna have great breakout sessions and we're gonna make a couple great announcements of uh, things going on within the organization, new tools and systems we're gonna be rolling out in 2000, the end of 2016 and into 2017. So really exciting times right now, guys. Uh, it's a busy marketplace, so get out there. Make sure uh, taking care of your buyers and sellers as I know you always do. Uh, make sure you keep an eye on what's going on in the market. If you ever have any questions, always reach out to me uh, and have a great week, great month, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.